Hi there, everyone. This is Jen Miller, Business Success Coach with Practice Better, and I am back for another quick Practice Better platform hack video for you today. So I'm going to show you a creative way to include forms in your program modules. And this is actually something that was shared by one of our very own users, Shay Johnson. We loved it so much that we just had to reshare with all of you. So I just wanted to first show the typical way that you can include forms in your program modules and sort of explain you know, a situation or two where you may want to do it a bit differently as I'm gonna show you. So typically, if you want to include forms in your program module, you just click on the forms and waivers tab here. As you can see, I have two forms already added to this module, and we really love this functionality because it automates the form process. So as soon as your uh, module here is made available to your client, they'll be receiving any forms that you have attached in this forms and worksheets section. So they'll be getting a notification with those forms. So you don't actually have to manually send anything to them. It's all automated. Um, but as I mentioned, there may be a circumstance or two where you might not want the client to actually be getting those notifications for the forms. So one example could be, you know, maybe you have a ton of forms inside your module. So you've included multiple forms inside your uh, single module, and you don't actually want the client to get all those notifications at once. Another example could be, you know, maybe you have made all of your program modules available to your client on the same date, if it's a fixed date program, or the same duration after they enroll if it's an evergreen program. So in that case, they're getting access to all the modules at once and therefore all of the forms that are attached to each module at once. And so that may be, you know, depending on how many forms you have, a lot of notifications um, for your clients. So one way that you can sort of work around that um, is actually to instead um, include a link to your form or forms inside of the content section of of your program module, okay? So the first step with that is to actually go and copy the link for each form. So I have a second tab open here with my forms and waivers section of my portal, and I'm just going to scroll down to pick um, you know, any of the forms. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead with this goal setting worksheet, clicking the three dots or the more options button here and going share link. This is going to allow me to copy the public form link over for this form that um, meaning anyone who clicks on that link will be able to complete that form. Okay, so I've copied that over. Heading back to my module here. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom um, to show you this. So, you know, of course, you could simply just, you know, paste that uh, form link right inside of one of the text boxes in your module. That is definitely an option. But, you know, as Shay had shared in her idea to make it a little more visually a appealing and a nicer experience for your client, you can actually use a graphic and a hyperlink that graphic. So this, um, you know, I have a graphic here. This is something that you would create outside of Practice Better. Maybe you do so in Canva or whatever program you use, you would save that to your computer. And then you're actually uploading that into Practice Better into your module. So the first step to doing that would be to add your text content um, using the red fast action and you select add text. That will give you this text box here. And then secondly, you're going to go insert image and you will upload that from your computer, okay? So I've got my example image here. Once you have that ready to go, you'll just want to click that image. And I actually already have this one hyperlinked. I'm just gonna unlink it for this example. This is what you're going to see when you first click on your image and you'll wanna go to insert link. Okay, so I'm going to paste that form link right inside of that URL field there, um, and that is all you need to do. Now, you'll probably want to select open in a new tab. That's just going to ensure that when your client clicks this link, then it will open a new tab with that form instead of redirecting them away from your module. So that is probably what you want to have happen so that they don't lose their place in the module or they don't need to go back. They'll just simply have a new tab open with the form, okay? So we'll go insert. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go save changes and actually show you what this looks like um, for the client when they're gonna go ahead and actually um, open that form. So just scrolling down to the bottom of my module here, there's my graphic that I had just hyperlinked and you can see that it's um, clickable now. So 
So I'm just going to click that and there's the pop up with that form. Okay. So the client can then go through and complete whatever form you've linked uh, sort of on their own time as they come across it in your module. You don't have to um, worry if you have a lot of forms um, that your client will be getting all those notifications. This is just an alternate option that they'll then just come across your module and be able to click to complete the form instead of being sent the form as a notification. Okay, so hopefully that is helpful and shows you just a different creative way um, that may be relevant to your situation for attaching forms to your program modules. Thanks again to Shay for sharing this tip with us and let us know below what you thought about this tip, this hack, um, if it's something that you think will be useful for you to use and uh, we would love to hear from you um, if you do try it. Okay, thanks everyone. We will see you back in the next hack video.